All right, well, it's Tuesday and stuff, and holy friggin' uh, just getting the other video uploaded. I don't know what exactly happened. I thought I uploaded just, or I thought I uploaded Sunday's video yesterday morning, and I don't know when the friggin' dude was here yesterday uh, doing the electrical in the basement for the new boiler. He must have shut the power off the summer, so guess what happened? Shut the YouTube upload off. So. I had to upload that this morning, and actually yesterday's video is getting uploaded as we speak. So that'll probably be up in about an hour. But, here's what I've gotten done. Uh, nothing inside really. I cleaned the shop up. Had a whole mess of spare time today, just babysitting the friggin' boiler dick. Like, holy, and the asbestos dudes, like, friggin' it took all morning. I don't usually wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I usually don't get up till 10. I don't go to bed till 2 in the morning. So, yeah. <clears throat> People say, oh, you don't get up till 10. What the fuck you doing? Just sleeping all the time? No. Fucking, I work during the night. Freaking dumbasses. Don't they know I got things I got to ship out and do on stuff on the computer and stuff like that? Jeez. You know, when people say that, they're like, oh, well, you just sleep with that. No, I don't go to bed till 2 in the morning. So, fuck you, pal. But, uh, yeah, so, got the manuals and shit like that, that's the new, new rig there, and then there's, I don't even know what's in here. Guess that's the thermostat, and, oh, there's the, the new unit. <clears throat> Friggin' that, uh, the old unit was massive. Uh, I spoke to one of the dudes that hauled it away. He says it weighs, um, just a, just a little over 1,100 pounds. Imagine that thing? Holy. But, uh, yeah, so I babysat them for a while. I watched them break it a million pieces. Like, that was dangerous. Nope, oh, I'm gonna miss call. I gotta call that guy back, I guess. But I did get a photo of it. Let's see. So, yeah. Let's see. There's the where it used to sit. And there's part of it. It's all cast iron. There's the basin, and then there's the cast iron piece and you know there's like I don't know there's probably it was probably about seven or eight sections in total and it, you know the the height was taller than me so I took a little bit for them to get that out but it's all done tomorrow they'll be wiring it in plumbing it in and stuff like that so that's pretty good and a few other little plumbing fixes here and there so that's pretty good but I did fix my Husqvarna Take a look at this. Oh, look at that. I get the fancy parking spot this morning. Hell yeah. Got her ripping out. Got her mowing. Took the plow off. Gave her a little bit of an oil change. Got the bumper on. Decks on. Blades are friggin' awesome. Those are the new gator blades, they work awesome. I bet you they run over a GoPro pretty good too. Got the summer tires on. These are the 22 nines I put on the rear. In the winter, I put the 20 by 10 by 8s. And what else I did? Oh yeah, fix the safety. If you're ever wondering how to fix a safety, you don't want to replace the safety. Those are the two wires you got to cap white to white and black and I guess we can call them gray together. New batteries in. Oh, crank her up and I can bring it in the backyard. Whew, this seat is hot. Gas is complete shit though. Well, it's zero turn time now. I'm putting her off for a 
couple hours now I've been doing a bunch of stuff outside just cleaning up but yeah so here's what we have to work with um hopefully get this motor assembled uh somewhat I'm still waiting on the stator I have no clue when that's coming in I'm hoping that it'll come in this week um hopefully we'll get it all running to get the thing running and driving this week uh, so I guess we'll have to wait and see on this, but I'm going to start doing a little bit of work on the head here, getting it ready, so I can do the head gasket on it, and then from there I'll start working on the carburetor, and hooking up all the linkages and stuff like that. Uh, probably tomorrow I'm thinking we'll mount the motor, get the motor mounted, on and done with, uh, hook the battery up, hook the pulleys up, Maybe do the blades. I bought brand new blades for this thing. I don't know if I showed you guys these. I think these are like 12 bucks a piece. Oh yeah, just break them, why don't you? Huh. That's weird. Now why is that bent like that? That doesn't look right. I don't know. I've never seen a lawnmower blade bent before. I mean, it's straight. And then it just takes a turn, so I don't know. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Hopefully they're not fucking damaged, but it'd be kind of hard to bend these, so maybe it's right. I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, we got the shock to fix on this handlebar, I think it is. Nope, it's this one. Shock here. Pick this one up off of eBay. I think I showed you guys this already. So we'll replace it. I'm hoping. That's all we need for parts, because huh, I'm already into this thing for quite a bit of dough, I think. We still got a front tire we're going to fix somehow or another. Hopefully we can just uh, rebeat it. That's my hoping part. Um, yeah, see those fucking cocksuckers. They didn't send me all the right parts. I know they didn't, because, yeah, they, I know for a fact they didn't send me the right parts, because... Uh, I was supposed to have a gas tank, they didn't, uh, not a gas tank, but a gas cap. They didn't send me the gas cap, they sent me a gasket. Uh, I was supposed to, there's two part numbers on the slip and one part number is for the plastic piece, like the cap itself, and then the gasket. And the gas cap was not there. I know I paid for it, it shows on the receipt. And the same deal with this deck wash thing. Uh, that's not right either. So they, there's something definitely up there. I'm gonna have to check that order before I go any further, but this is getting ridiculous. And this guy, um, I did some tests today on it, I thought it was spark issue, but I don't think it's spark issue, so we're going to have to try and figure this out some more. Maybe the carburetor is just really badly stuffed up to where it's not getting any fuel at all, but I sprayed uh, dirt and flew it in the other day there and it didn't work, so I don't know. I'll have to wait and see on that one. But this is this week's project. My goal is to get this thing running and driving this week, but we'll have to wait and see. It's been a rough week so far. <laughs> And it's only Tuesday. And then, uh, what day? Probably Thursday. I got to pick up, uh, pick up two more ride-on mowers. One's a Craftsman, I think possibly one's an MTD. So I got to pick that up. And oh yeah, I didn't quite show you guys this yet. All right. So on a Craftsman mower deck, this is your usual spindle, right? You know, I'm sure if anyone knows how to replace these or they've replaced them, or they own a Craftsman ride-on mower, they know they have spindles on their deck that's supposed to look like this. Alright, now this... Somebody put a lot of effort into this one. Check this out, guys. This is just... Unbelievable. Anyone see the problem here? Anything? Alright, this guy must have been so desperate to cut his lawn. I thought this was a good spindle. I saw this underneath and I'm like, oh wow, somebody made up like a mulch. Like... Something just to block the grass off from getting on the deck, so I thought that was pretty cool. Nope. Somebody actually broke their spindle, right? See how it's broke there, broke there, and broke there? Then they took these bars, bent them right around each of the uh, fins, I guess. Then you took this plate, made a circle, drilled some holes into it to make his own mandrel mount. This guy must have been desperate to mow his lawn to do this. I have never seen anything like this. And uh, usually, you know, a mandrel only costs like 30 bucks on eBay. This guy here, fuck it. 
use some scrap metal. Now this is some redneck ingenuity right here. I've never seen anything like this before. Like this is just wild. And the best part is, right, so when I took off the pulley that was on the top, you guys seen that pulley like that? Well, when I took it off, there's no bearing on the inside. Completely missing. I'm like, wow. This guy needed a new deck badly. Uh, I took this deck in on trade, actually. Well, not really on trade. I just took it for scrap, basically. I took the deck in, and uh, the guy's like, if you want for scrap, whatever. So I was like, all right, I'll scrap for scrap. I took it in, and, you know, I figured I could get at least one one of the pulleys off fine. And uh, the other one was all broken and shit. And the other one, this is the other one, I'm like, holy crap. I've never seen anything like that. I just thought that was ridiculous. That somebody would go to that great length to fix a mandrel. Scrap metal now. Goes in the heavy pot. Anyway, I'm just debating whether or not I just want to continue with this video or just stop. I think I'm just going to stop it. All I'm going to be doing is just putting a head gasket on. I'm sure you guys have seen a million of these put on. You know, it's not even that hard to just put the Head gasket on, put your cylinder head on, bolt the bolts down, throw some push rods on, and that's it. You know, someday I'll do a full breakdown video of these engines, but that's about it. I think we're going to the video here, guys. I know it wasn't much of a video, but that's what we get going on. Tomorrow we'll be half a day on this thing, and the other half babysitting the friggin' boiler deck again. So that should be awesome. But that's what we get going on. Not a whole lot, so. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys all have a good night, and hopefully we'll get this video up on time for a change. Well, wait, three videos in one day. I don't know if we can pull that off. Um, we got the new computer coming in uh, with the new iMovie on it. That'll be in Friday, so yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, oh yeah, the parts, the Polaris parts are coming in this week. The Polaris parts, so that'll be pretty good. But anyway, enough talking. We'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Hopefully you guys all have a good night. And, uh, see you then. Alright, so I guess the video's not over. Take a look at this. So, one of the neighbors there, he rents out a few of the properties and stuff. Same guy that owns that mower there. And, uh, yeah. Check that out. So, I'm not really sure the size of it. I think it's like a 32 inch RCA. But, he said he didn't know what was wrong with it. One of the tenants. I guess just left in the basement and I plugged it in. It's getting it's getting some power but the screen doesn't turn on. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Green light comes on down the bottom. But there's like no power to the to the unit. So I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it's something mine. I really don't get into electronic fixing up because I'm not too electronically inclined to fix stuff like this, but I don't know. Maybe call some dude on Craigslist, maybe get it fixed or something. It's not bad, a little TV. Well, I think it's like a 32 I'd say. That's a 40. That's a 42. That's a 30. That's going to be like a 32. But I don't know. Get it with me. Say if you want, take it. If not, friggin' just uh, throw her in the dirty old scrapyard. So I took it. And, uh, I don't know. I know it's worth value, because my parents, they had a, I think it was like a 38, or a 36 inch flat screen, and it went out a few years back, had the same problem, the screen didn't turn on, and we actually sold it for, I think, like 100 bucks or something on Craigslist. So I don't know, maybe we'll just uh, stick her on Craigslist or something like that, or maybe somebody knows if it's like a common problem, but, you know, these are just like Crayola marks or something on the screen. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys might know what the problem is. But anyway, enough talking. It's time to upload this video. Or render it anyway.